So today we're going to work on simplifying fractions, and we're going to do that by using the GCF. So we're going to take a look at question one. Question one says simplify the following fraction, and they give us 18 over 81. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to find the GCF or find the greatest common factor, and we're going to do that with our factor trees. So I'm going to put 18 and 81 at the top of my factor trees. Um, and then I'm going to ask myself, I'm going to work with my 18 here. What can I multiply together to give myself 18? Uh, I can multiply together 2 times 9. Um, and I need to ask, are either one of those prime? 2 is prime, so I'm going to put a circle around it. 9 is not, so I'm going to break it down further. I can multiply together 3 times 3 to give me 9. And then they're both prime, so I'm going to put circles around them. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here. I'm going to write my prime factorization for 18. And the prime factorization for 18 is 2 times 3 times 3. So I write it out in my list here. Remember, least to greatest. Now we're going to come over here and do the exact same thing with 81. Um, something we can multiply together to get 81 is 9 times 9. Now we found out over here that 9 is not prime, so we're going to break it down further. I can multiply together 3 times 3 and 3 times 3. And all those 3's are prime, so I'm going to circle them all. Okay. Now I've got to come down here and write my prime factorization for 81. The prime factorization for 81 is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Okay. So now we need to look at our prime factorization lists and see what they share. And I'm looking at the list, and I first see that they don't share a 2, but they do share a 3. Now remember, they don't have to be right on top of each other. It just has to be that the 18 has a 3 and that the 81 has a 3. So let's keep going down the list. Like I said, there's no 2 there, but there is another 3 and 3. Um, however, there's not, another, there's not any more 3, so I'm going to cross those out. When I come over here to write what they share, they share a 3 times 3. Okay. Now, we know that to get the greatest common factor from that, all we have to do is multiply 3 times 3, and that gives us 9. Okay, So we're halfway there. We found that greatest common factor, so now what we're going to do is we're going to divide the numerator and the denominator by the GCF. Okay, So this will simplify our fraction in one step, and we found that our GCF was 9, so my numerator, 18 over 81, we're going to divide both of those by 9. So, I have 18 divided by 9 gives me a 2. 81 divided by 9 gives me a 9. So, 2 ninths is our simplified answer, and that's as far as it can go. Okay, so at, when you're simplifying fractions using the GCF, the first thing you need to do is show your GCF work. And then you've got to come over here and then d divide the numerator and the denominator by that GCF, and then put a box around your final simplified fraction.